Okay guys, Shaber 1000 here. Update on the toolbox. I've got this one done and I've still got all this stuff here to put in that other one. I got all this to clean. I gotta figure out where all I'm, I'm gonna put all them paints and stuff. But I do have this done. We'll start up here. I got this jack down here so I can stand on my jack. Got some long, big wrenches here. Specialty wrenches, my stethoscope, axle, uh, tap and die set, and my T handles. These are wrenches that. Let me turn the light on, see if that'll help. I don't know if it'll help or make it worse. Ooh. I think it made it worse, didn't it? These are wrenches for distributors to loosen the distributor, you know, for when you're adjusting timing. Um, this wrench, we used to use them for that as well, but you can use it for other things. I've got some more of these. <coughs> Excuse me, I got to dig out. I've got a couple long screwdrivers. Um, just some neat stuff. These weird looking wrenches here. I use these, I'll use these quite a bit. Okay, so I've got, got my wrenches here. So, whole set here, there's a set here, whole set here. got these these kind of ratchet on the open end that's why they look kind of funky <coughs> excuse me of <clears throat> the rest of these and here's my metrics of these the rest of these like these stubbies these are all um, like the gear wrenches you know uh, I've got a couple actual gear wrenches in there but I've got some huskies and that there's my plier drawer I've, I've, I've got a whole bunch more pliers I'm gonna sell what I, I'm not going to need this is um, little sockets um, easy outs another tap and die set uh, which I might put on top of that one or right in here beside that one um, these are Allen's um, standard and metric. Uh, these are my special screwdrivers for adjusting carburetors, you know, test light, spark tester, uh, stuff like that. There's uh, an easy outset right there. It's never been used. And here's all my pullers, the bolts. Um, I've also got some of these, these kind of drill bits here. Um, I just stuck them there for now. Like, my drill bits and stuff are going to go in that box. That box is pretty well cleaned out now. But these are all my pullers. And I've still got a gigantic ass puller down there. Alright, let's see. Got a couple nice. The long wrenches, those are handy for breaking bolts loose. Just wanted to share my toolbox with you guys. So there's a couple, a um, couple wrenches missing, but I'm sure there's there's wrenches uh, at her mom and dad's house, still in the garage. So that's why I've left some gaps here so I can have room to move them around for when I get the other wrenches and. You know, like that one. That one there's missing. <clears throat> but it's okay because I've got pretty much doubles of everything. There's some cutting devices. This is cool. This is a self-feeding pop riveter. Could have used that at work many times putting skins on them trailers. There's some pipe wrenches there. There's my screwdriver drawer. 
I've got my screwdrivers. These have never been opened. I cut the end off. <coughs> Excuse me. I cut the end off to um, uh, just to make this fit in there. Um, as you can see, he had some too. Some of these were already mine. That's why there's so many of them. Some of these were already mine. I just put them all together. These are nut drivers. They're all in order. Um, I've got some dental picks. It's good for you know picking grease out of something or you know a little baby seal or something you know o-ring whatever and I've got all these little um, tweezers they come in handy let's go over here we'll just go down and back up um, I've got a bunch of claw feet in there um, this is a ring compressor this is brake tools here for brake springs and um, these are uh, snap ring pliers. I've got some more over here. There's my air tools right there, which I have one down here in this mess. I need to, uh, I'm gonna go through uh, some of these wrenches. Will be hanging up there once I move the clock. I've got these are all mostly down in there those are mostly craftsmen they'll be hanging up there and then the ones I don't have I'll fill in with those just to have up above there and I've got extra screwdrivers I'll put up there that way when I'm working on a bench I can just grab something I don't have to come into the toolbox you know medicinal purposes and these are my line wrenches I've got a you know a couple of these small uh, crescent wrenches these double open ends I don't hardly ever use these but sometimes I do <clears throat> so they're that's why they're in this box these are all my files not all my files but most of the, um, not most of them but some of the files that I will be using like these stuff this is for wood these ones which will be coming out and I'll just use the metal files because I don't file wood that much so that'll go in the other box there's all my clamps C clamps for brakes and you know holding things together when I'm welding which by the way I've got a bunch of welding stuff I gotta get out here and there's some specialty tools in there you know my micro mechanic and you know the butt gauges those are those I mentioned in a video um, helicoils that's what those are uh, my wood burning set this is my uh, multimeter this is a laser level that red thing down there is um, to tell me the distance like if I want to measure from a tree to the backyard it'll tell me how far away it is okay it was in that one and this is a cool uh, I think I mentioned it <coughs> excuse me this is a cool oil filter wrench I've got all my ratchets um, extensions special sockets I am missing one there uh, they're not special they're, they're metric but they're um, quarter inch drive um, 3 inch drive coffee standard and metric I got all these things these are security bits got my torx got my big ass breaker bar there so this is pretty cool all my little ratchets you know different items like that and I've got my bigger sockets as you can see there's a couple missing but these were his so they could still be in the garage. This is my set here. There's some missing out of it. I don't know what happened to it. It was a whole set. But, you know, I got my deep walls. This is four little tiny sockets like that. There's a whole set of sockets there. There's some Torex there. I'm missing one of them. I think I know where it is. These are impact drivers. I got these. This is over on the bench. That one's not missing. I know where it is. Uh, these are bits. Um, for my uh, impact driver and down here 
I got these tire irons. Um, there's one, two, three. Um, these are um, uh, torque wrenches. This is a 3H drive torque wrench, which measures, it doesn't measure in foot pounds, it measures in inch pounds. So it's good for small engines. And there's two more um, impact drivers. These are nut splitters. If you got a nut that just don't want to come off, it's rounded off, you can put that on there, tighten it up, and it splits the nut, and the nut will fall off. Big ass thing you can use on four wheel drives. <coughs> um, these are half inch drive, these are impact sockets. These are impact sockets for the impact gun. Guns, I'll show it to you here in a minute. And these are these are all my punches. These are like leather punches, you know, or fabric punches. There's some little tiny punches there. This is a nice set of punches there. Um, I've got, these were mine and these were his. So, I mean, we bought pretty much the same kind of tools. Uh, these are wood chisels, all these here. These are metal chisels. Got a couple claw feet here. Um, another punch set there. And here is all my air tools see that one was mine that one was mine uh, this one was mine and the rest came from him pneumatic ratchets air ratchets uh, this is a this gun here this air gun uh, you put the hose down in a bucket of sand and what it does is suck it up and it blows it out there you can use that sandblaster but this one I've got a sandblaster so what I'm going to use this one for is you can also use it to drain fluids out of something so there's a tuning fork this is all down here my chisels for my pneumatic chisels all of these work I've checked them out all out they all work and my scrapers got all my scrapers there well, not all of them. Like I said, this ain't. This is only about not even half the tools I got. And these are all my cutting devices, my knives, uh, little hacksaws. This is a cool little hacksaw there. This is a knife sharpener, and then all my little scrapers. These come in handy for uh, scraping gaskets and stuff like that. My um, saw blades are right here. Uh, this is a nice knife here goes with that set which I have another one it's up on the up on my bench and then I got some of my hammers as you can see I got a couple hammers hatchets down there but these are the ones I'm going to be using mostly except for um, I've got for welding I've got my chipping hammers I got chipping hammers I gotta go get <clears throat> like I said a lot of this stuff can be sold um, you know like uh, but a bunch of them I'm gonna keep like this thing slap hammer it's never been used so we're doing roofing roofing and stuff I think we checked this one out didn't we Ugh. yeah we checked that one out so there's an update and I got those T handles they're gonna hang up here on this wall man it's just getting more and more stuff that gold looking thing down there that round thing that's a bearing packer that's the pack bearings and I've got my big soldering iron uh, I've got keyhole saws um, I've got some wire brushes um, some of this stuff a lot of this stuff's gonna be sold that whole thing there's pretty much full of um, Allen wrenches so yeah but yeah I'll be putting a bunch of stuff over there in that toolbox once I get all this stuff straightened out like I said this stuff is going to go all in that that cabinet's going to go over there these shelves are going to go out in the shed so I've been working hard on it uh, it's a lot of work cleaning that up I cleaned every drawer it's 23 drawers 56 inch um, so it's a good looking box so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I want to tell you guys thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you have a great week. 
I'm going to say Shea Bear the Myth the Man the Legend. Thanks for watching my vlog and my update on my tools. So we'll chat at you guys soon. Take care and bye bye.